you just believe what what really, really went on. You know, That's what you got to stand by. Well, I only went over there at 7 o'clock for the bonfire. Well, then that's what you got to put, that, that's what you got to stay at. You know? Nope. Then how did you get bleach and stuff all over your pants? Well, I was in the garage with them, cleaning up some, like, reddish black stuff on the floor. And he was painting her gas and bleach to clean it up. Do they actually have any evidence against you besides what you say? Not really. They don't have any, like, DNA or anything? No. Well, you got the pants that I wore that night. Oh, well... So you actually had a so you actually admitted to it or no? Not really. I admitted that there was a fire in there. Oh. I helped Steven throw the the fan seat, the wood, and uh, some tires and the cabinet on there. That's it. At 5 o'clock or about that, my mom came home and I talked to her. And she said she had to leave to go to the hospital with Scott. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I waited. I watched TV until about 6 o'clock and got a phone call from Blaine's boss, Mike Cornelli. And after that, I watched TV until 7. And Stephen called. He asked me if I wanted to come over to the bonfire, so I told him I would, and I did, and then he told me that he was gonna, I was going to help him clean up the yard, so we did, and we picked up fan seat, wood, and some tires for the fire, and we picked that stuff up, and then we brought it to the fire. Then we threw some of it on, and we went into the garage, and there was a puddle on the floor of some reddish black stuff, but I didn't know what it was, it was from, but it was like, I don't know, it was like probably five feet by five feet puddle or something, and so we cleaned that up with some old rags. And we threw the stuff in the fire after that, and then we would, I waited, we sat there watching the fire, and then we threw some of the stuff on, and my mom came home at 9. Then she went into the house and called Stephen on her cell phone to see if, to tell him that I was supposed to be home at 10 o'clock, and that if I had a sweater on, and... So we waited for the fire to go down, and then he told me to go home to uh, get some sleep for school the next day. So dude, if you get out, that'd be cool. Dude, I don't know. I don't not like you or whatever you think. I don't hate you like you think or whatever. What are you going to do when I get out then? What am I going to do when you get out? Yeah. I need the blood. No. <laughs> Have you ever really going to hang on to Travis with or whatever? Yeah, if I can. Well, yeah, why not? Travis never did anything wrong. Or you guys never did anything wrong, you know? So you should be able to. What? You think I'm going to be mad at you or not want to talk to you or something? Yeah. Dude, if you're proof to this, then I wouldn't care. I'd be like, hell yeah, come on. Yeah, right. What would happen if I'm guilty? Then you're guilty. Yeah, and then I won't see you. Like, who says that? I like in people in school and stuff, but they don't say much about it anymore because I told them how old Steven is and that they better get it through their skull. That's the way he is. Yeah. Yeah, I know that one day when my mom wanted me to go to that one birthday party for 
because, you know, when Tom used to be there, his family used to have, like, gathered up everybody's birthday, like, from two months. And mm-hmm. they would have a party for everybody at, on one day. Yeah. And I didn't want to go that one day because uh, they didn't want to go to mine, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I was, like, running all over the place trying to get away. And then my mom said she had it, and then she called Steven, and he came over, and he started beating on me. Oh, my God. See, that's what you have to tell them, Brendan. You have to tell them that that's the way he is. But I was thinking about something. What would Jody do if he got, like, the uh, death penalty? I don't know. I don't think she really gives a shit. Yeah. At least she ain't getting beaten by him no more. Yeah. <clears throat> They're going from one room to the other. She's just saying he's innocent, so she don't have her fucking hunt down. Yeah. Because he's told her many, many times that... No matter if I'm in jail or whatever, I'll hunt you down and I'll and kill you. Yeah. Yeah, I got this book in here, you know, it's got that word in it, too. What word? The one that you just said before. The N-word. question? What? What did he do to you? What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? What did he do to you? Brendan? I don't get what you're saying. Where did he touch you? What do you know? Huh? When, uh, sometimes he would, like, wrestle with us? Yeah. You grab some part that I didn't like him to grab. Can I ask you a question? Why did you even go over there? I don't know. Why didn't you just call 911? Or tell me at 5 o'clock when I got home? I Were you afraid of him? Well, yeah. Str- you have one minute left. What? He's stronger than me. Let me ask you a question, Brendan. Why? What did you tell me the other day? Is it true? Well, what? What you told me the other day. That I said some other stuff was true? Yeah. Yeah. How much of it? Um. Huh? Brendan? What? How much of it? Oh, I can't. You can't say? No, I can't figure out how much. But he did do it, right? Yeah. Why couldn't you tell me this before? Well, that's one of the questions that Mike asked me. Yeah. Yeah. I told him that I was too scared that if I did that, the cops would come out and tell him that they would arrest me too because I knew about it. 